nature of consultants and consulting to industry is characterized by an organization accessing specialist knowledge or skills in order to achieve certain outcomes. Consultants are accessed for priority outcomes and most of the time that can be defined as just in time or just before disaster or rescue time just after disaster. Over and over again, it's been confirmed no matter the size of the organisation, the industry, or whether it be a public, private or non-government enterprise, that both in rescue time or just-in-time delivery, the same skill sets are required from consultants. Skill sets that aren't in an MBA or traditional business education model. Skill sets that employers keep requesting as essential or highly desirable. Skill sets that are able to repair poor performance or shift market alignments and outcomes and skill sets that position the organisation in a healthy and competitive leadership position for the future. Over the past 20 years, Opportunity Logistics Business Consultancy has consulted to government, media outlets, educational institutions and universities, small to medium enterprise and not-for-profit organisations. And over this time, it has been clearly noted that as consultants, Opportunity Logistics has redefined the diagnostics, tools and metrics to an art that will give employers Skilled leaders with the capability to resuscitate and revive any organisation. Produce leaders who can model the organisation's prospective position for a healthy future and challenge traditional business education models with this new postgraduate diploma in business opportunity. With over 20 years of robust research and consulting experience, it's become clear that there has been substantial gaps in traditional business education models and that consultancy has resolved these gaps through experiential, live and repeated successful implementation. Over the past 500 years, the evolution of business planning has been tested through trial and error. 500 years ago, a villager would go to market with some eggs and at the end of the morning would tally up how many sold and return with the balance. Advancement to this was the evolution of the market model which gave birth to stock take. Here, a villager would go to market with eggs, oranges and bread. By the end of the day, these items were sold or exchanged. The villager would return to count her stock and design product mix which may complement the next day at the market. This gave way to the supply and demand economics where the savvy competitor would note the number of births of new families in the village and might plant more orange trees or cater for greater demand. The business planning model expanded with new technology in trade and travel which opened the doors of expansion for business trade in a number of markets. The microeconomic principles now have macro or greater influence on the economic business planning models. However, all of this knowledge and business planning was undone and brought into question due to one very significant event. The Great Depression of the 1940s which almost collapsed currency, economics and trade markets made business leaders question their confidence in traditional business planning models. Academics and business management seeking resolve approach the military with the question, how do you know when there is an enemy approaching? And the military responds with, it's easy, we call this strategy. Strategy is the ability to move an organisation from point A to point B and to be able to navigate any internal or external environmental forces that may assist or obstruct this plan. The business world modified this military model for business application and has enjoyed significant success to date. More recently, confidence enjoyed over the past 70 plus years of strategic business management and planning was crudely interrupted by a recent global financial crisis, the result of poor strategy and poor business management decisions. Opportunity Logistics has built a strategic opportunity logistics model which is an ideal complement to the more traditional business strategy model. And with over 20 years of practice and implementation in the consulting world, this model has proven a potent panacea for many organisations who have suffered at the hands of poor strategic planning and implementation and market shifts. Many a senior manager, HR manager or corporate capability executive or even CEO have for over a decade been stating that new leaders and managers need to have contemporary skills with a difference. Skills such as innovation, creativity, conceptual capability, strategic invention, optimistic future, visionary, inspirational stakeholder engagement, global context and cultural sensitivity and design thinking and efficiency in increased productivity. Even major universities and business schools, which have enjoyed over a century of business education supremacy, have criticised 
the MBA and other traditional business training models, claiming the MBA, which was originally criticised for being vocational in that it was designed to equip engineers and scientists with business management skills, has succumbed to the academic vice which has made its experiential business leadership advantage much redundant. The MBA has been heavily criticised for producing the same graduates with the same knowledge which could be easily learnt on the job. Recruiters looking for talent have declared the MBA no longer the defining point of difference or competitive advantage, but rather the definition of complacence. Simply, the difference required in today's competitive business world is not academic, it's experiential. Graduates of any type of business education today need to be able to demonstrate not only the knowledge, but the application and practice. The ability to perform is more important today than ever. It is no longer what we know, but what we do with it, a significant paradigm shift. The Australian Qualifications Framework provides nine levels of tertiary education. Certificates one to four are relevant for the trades, traineeships and apprenticeships. Level five and level six, the diploma and advanced diploma, provide the entry level education to management. Level seven is undergraduate degree. Level eight is referred to as postgraduate or master's level. And finally, level nine is the PhD. The MBA is a postgraduate education program in line with the AQF Level 8. The MBA was largely criticised at its inception for being a very vocational program in nature, in that its purpose was to provide conceptual skill for application in the administration of business management. There is still a need for this type of learning. The Graduate Diploma of Business Opportunity is also in line with the AQF Level 8. It is there to provide conceptual skill for application in the administration of business leadership. It is intentional that this program be established as a vocational and experiential program. The current business education programs are designed to equip candidates with the knowledge and skill to administer. Reporting, strategy development, implementation and planning are all based on evidence of environmental scanning and competitive intelligence. This information, which is gathered in order to provide the foundation for strategic design in any business, is largely reliant on education and metrics, which are retrospective in nature, in that the information developed and provided by the environmental scanning, competitive intelligence and reporting is largely resulted through metric tools which rely on past performance. This is the basis for current business education. Therefore, current business education and business leadership relies heavily today on the foundation of past performance in order to move forward. Senior management, executives, entrepreneurs and leaders around the world are looking for a new recruit of leader for their business. A leader who can innovate, read social patterns, map evolution on social philosophy and who can predict behaviour and evolution. Leaders who are able to develop strategy in a prospective capacity, not a retrospective capacity. Over the past 12 years, Opportunity Logistics has developed a consultancy practice which does just this. These three spheres of influence provide for a polarity. Over the past 12 years, Opportunity Logistics has developed a consultancy practice which does just this. These three spheres of influence provide for a polarity of subject matter between the spheres in that the distance away from one sphere indicates it is more like one polar sphere and less like the other. The resulting six categories resembled by the yellow wedges, which are futurology, evolution, architecture, inspiration, options and growth, within the three spheres represent a working approach to business planning and implementation, which is referred to as strategic opportunity logistics or SOL and provide for business leadership and now business education, which is more prospective in its nature and one that makes use of new knowledge and new metrics in strategy. Remembering the strategy is in simple terms getting the organization's performance from point A to point B and being able to navigate any obstacles along the way. Over the past 12 years, Opportunity Logistics has been implementing a prospective approach with this model and with Nelson Education are training the next generation of business leaders in this prospective model. It is not an alternative to current business education or the MBA, it's a complement. It's like yin and yang. The Graduate Diploma of Business Opportunity is conceptual in nature and provides for a balance in business education. In closing, there is a dialogue which is getting louder by the day 
and events such as the Great Depression in the 1940s are being echoed today with the GFC. And business education and business leadership must evolve to accommodate a future of business education and leadership which will provide greater global business performance. The comparison between general business education or the likes of the MBA and the Graduate Diploma of Business Opportunity are clear. They're both generalist in nature. The MBA is more administration focused whereas the business opportunity qualification is conceptual. The MBA is retrospective in nature whereas the Graduate Diploma of Business Opportunity is prospective by nature. It's also multifaceted, whereas the MBA is a matured product. The MBA is reflective of 19th century business ideology, whereas the Graduate Diploma of Business Opportunity is reflective of design thinking ideology. The MBA is driven by corporate competition in that graduates strive for work employment or recruitment and feel they need to gain an MBA in order to qualify. Whereas with a graduate diploma of business opportunity, it is driven more by corporate demand. Leaders and managers and executives are looking for future leaders with greater conceptual skill. The MBA has a financial metric focus, whereas the graduate diploma of business opportunity has a multi-currency focus. The MBA is driven by corporate competition whereas the Graduate Diploma of Business Opportunity is driven by corporate demand in that corporate demand from leaders and recruiters are looking for graduates with new skills. The MBA has a financial metric focus, whereas the Graduate Diploma of Business Opportunity looks at a multi-currency focus. The next generation of business leader will have the strengths of an MBA, but will also have the difference that is so desperately desired by the business leaders of the world. As a graduate, you will not only qualify with these qualities, but you will be able to register as a recognized business opportunity consultant and bear the postnomial MBO, or Master of Business Opportunity, as a certified trademark that will make you stand out as a leader of excellence in the contemporary landscape of business leadership. For an application form, timetable or any answers to your questions, go to nelson.edu.au or visit opportunitylogistics.com. The Graduate Diploma of Business Opportunity is offered in Europe, the Middle East, throughout Asia including Hong Kong, Singapore and China, Australia and the USA. The delivery is easy. There are six seminars to attend each no longer than four days of contact. You can complete the seminar within one year or stretch it over two years. The program can be contextualized for an organization, an industry, or for audience preference. This executive format of delivery allows minimal disruption to your work and life commitments while providing an intensive learning experience which can be followed by four to six weeks of practical application resulting in a work report or experiential assessment. That's it. It's simple. This is a live work-based education experience where participants are able to build their assessment around their application of knowledge in the workplace. This is what drives the best results. However, participants who are unable to implement their learning in the workplace can complete an alternative assessment. For the current cost, availability, local seminar timetables in your region and to apply please visit nelson.edu.au or opportunitylogistics.com. We're excited to grow the next generation of business leaders who can see a future of opportunity and lead organizations into a future not yet defined. Will you be that future? Will you be leading and shaping that future? Start today with Nelson Education and Opportunity Logistics and apply to be part of the next intake of Graduate Diploma Business Opportunity graduates. We look forward to meeting you soon.